So hi guys, lot of query regarding Hertzsprung's disease. What is Hertzsprung's disease? It is absence of the ganglion cells either in the submucosal that is mesenchymal plexus or the myentric that is orbac plexus. So the gold standard of the diagnosis in this patient usually relies on rectal biopsy. You have to see the ganglion cells and this is how they look. That is they have a very prominent nuclei or uh, the surrogate markers is increased hypertrophic nerve fibers. Okay, so these hypertrophic nerve fibers can be seen with acetylcholine esterase training. Remember, guys, but the problem with acetylcholine esterase training is that it can be done only on the frozen section. That's a major drawback. So recently we have come across cal retinin staining. So cal retinin is a vitamin D dependent calcium. A sensing molecule. It's a calcium dependent molecule and it is a very important marker because it can not only identify the ganglion cells but also the so small nerve fibers which are stimulated by it. So therefore absence of the cal retinin in the ganglion cells and even in the small nerve fibers in the lamina propria is very very suggestive of Hertzsprung's disease. Please remember the beauty of calretinin is that it can even be done on formal and fixed specimen that is paraffin blocks. So that is why it is considered much better staining than acetylcholine esterase. And if you can combine both calretinin and acetylcholine esterase, then nothing like it. It's beauty. Okay. So therefore, that so for one point, calretinin is better than acetylcholine esterase for diagnosis.